What's up guys, it's MacBoy here, and today I'm going to be attempting to make the fastest video to jailbreak an iPhone 3G. There are tons of videos out there and they're like over 6 or 7 minutes, and I wanted to make one that's very simple, straight to the point, nothing explained too much, and uh, I'm just going to show you the whole tutorial on how to do this in under 5 minutes, and that is my goal. Let's just get started. The tools you're going to need is Ponish Tool and the legal IPSW that Apple created and the links to download them is in the description. Um, note, to download the IPSWs you're going to need Firefox. So go ahead and download Firefox and go to the um, link in the description which is an iCar field link. Find the device that you're using, iPhone, whichever one, and device you and the version you want jailbreak. Mine's right here, iPhone uh, 2.2.1. Download that and download Ponus Tool 2.2.5 on your Mac also. Link for that is in the description. Now, you're gonna have Pwner Tool as a DMG right here. Click, hold, and drag that to your desktop. That should be done right there. Now let's see, open up your Pwner Tool. All right. Now we're gonna go by the expert mode, so I wanna customize it a little bit. I don't wanna unlock it, just jailbreak it. Select your device, click next. It's gonna browse for the IPSW that you downloaded from iCar Field using Firefox. See, this is the old one, this is 2.2, .2, and this is 2.2.1 on my hard drive, select that. Click Next, select General, click Next. I'm not going to activate the phone, you're going to disable the partition wipeout because it's much easier to use and it takes a long time when you're partitioning a hard drive on your iPhone. Then click Next, uh, this is going to be all blurred out because uh, you're not going to be unlocking your phone. Uh, next, uh, select the packages that you want to install. The packages I'm installing a side quarter, open SSH, and open SSL. You can add more packages by clicking download packages and then click refresh, find the one you want, click add to queue, it's gonna download and then check them off over here. Click next and you're gonna install both of these, which you're gonna need. Uh, the boot logo and recovery logo, do whatever you want. So I'm not gonna have the recovery logo here, but I'm gonna change my boot logo. So click browse and find the logo that you want. My logo is right here. All right, I'm gonna click next and it's just click build. And once uh, you click build, and it's going to ask you to save it somewhere, save it to your desktop, don't change the name or anything, I'm going to cancel because I've already done this, alright, now it's done. And my IPSW, after it's done exporting or building, is right here. Now, go to your opponent's tool, and it's going to ask you, has your iPhone or iPod Touch ever been pwned before? And you're going to click no, alright, and um, when you click no, it's going to put, it's going to go to the DFU timer, it's going to ask you to connect your device to via USB to your computer so I'm gonna do it right now once you have connected your iPhone to the computer and it is turned on the opponent's tool is gonna to ask you to turn off your device but before you actually start putting your iPhone into DFU mode you need to quit iTunes and not just iTunes you need to quit the iTunes helper so go ahead and launch activity monitor which comes with your Mac bundle and then uh, on the top right filter just type in iTunes and there should be something called iTunes helper now Quit the process of that. If you don't see iTunes Helper, don't worry about it. Uh, that means it's all okay. Quit iTunes process, uh, iTunes Helper, and now you can get started. So you're not going to see this on camera, but I am going to turn off my device right now. I just lit it, slide to the slider. slider. All right, now you got to hold the home and power buttons for 10 seconds. So I'm holding both of them right now, home and power buttons, for 10 seconds. Five seconds left. I'm going to release the power button. Now, I'm, I just released it. I have to hold the home button for another 10 seconds. Four things left. Now let go. Now it's going to give you a message that successfully entered DFU mode. Close Pwner Tool application, start iTunes, and restore with your custom firmware bundle. Click OK. You can quit this up now. And then you can go ahead and launch iTunes. Alright, now it's going to detect that your iPhone is in recovery mode. Just click OK. And now, instead of clicking Restore in the, under the Summary tab, hold down the Option key on your Mac, on your keyboard, and find your IPSW that you created earlier with Ponage Tool, the custom one. It's called something and then Custom Restore IPSW. Click Open, and now wait for it to extract software. It might give you an error message, but all you have to do is keep trying uh, until it does the thing. See, just error message right there. Now you gotta unplug your iPhone, wait for a few seconds, plug it back in. It's gonna detect it. Hit OK, 
option, click restore, find your IPSW, click double, double click on that, and just keep trying until it works for you. Ooh, I'm sorry, but I believe I went over five minutes for this video, but don't worry guys, I hope this helped. Hope that wasn't too fast for you. So if this worked for you guys, please make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe to this channel and video, and make sure that you follow me on Twitter, add me on iChat, and become a fan of MacBook Productions on Facebook. Thank you much for watching, guys. Links for everything is in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.